and see how that is reacting. Uh, not sure why why is it doing that it's probably a bug but not sure why it's doing that at all Hey. So it seems as if I made another copy, then it lights all the scene. Might be some sort of bug. Okay, so what I want is to get those rays a little bit to the left. See, that's, that's what I like about creating the folder, so I don't have to pick them all by hand. I can just click on the folder, and I can move them. Let's see if I do. Yep. That does that. Probably too many lights in the scene. If anyone knows the answer as to why is that happening, just let me know in the comment section below. Really appreciate that. Okay, now it looks as if it's creating uh, kind of like a little bit of lighting uh, to our, our portal, which I think looks cool. Again, you know guys, I'm not a lighting expert, but uh, I'll try my best. I'm just going to put another light here. Maybe if I scatter these guys, it'll look a little bit better.
okay a little bit better and again what I'm trying to focus is on that portal just looking real nice looking even a little bit metallic even though that wasn't my initial um, actually wasn't my initial thought because if you see the material it has zero metalness all right what I'm going to do right now is bump the emissive on certain things like the floor actually what I'm going to do is turn off GI so Box of resolutions high, so let's turn that to medium and things should move a little bit faster. So that's all the way to 50. This is this one, this is not the one where it's acting. I'm turning this into 25. We can see the emissive. And da, da, da. let's bring this back to one. Yeah, it actually looks very, very nice. Okay. I'm going to leave the general light just because it's reacting like, you know, because without it, it, it looks really cool. Actually, without it, it looks like a nice cave scene. But um, that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for underwater. Might be a little bit too bright now. One point five is too much. One point two. You know what? Let's show voxels. So the reason I'm moving this is just to focus more on what I've here, what I have here, as opposed to what's in the back. Because if I display the voxels, you're gonna see what the voxels are actually rendering. 
So if I turn this all the way down, you're going to see I have just one voxel or one cube. And if I expand it, it's going to start englobing the things in my scene. So I want these things lit. These are the things where I, that I want to to react to what's going on. If that makes any sense. Let me turn that down. And that actually looks very, very nice. Way better than the other one. So I'm going to go to my bubbles. There's this bubbles right here. I'm going to move them a little bit so we can see them. Not bad. We have this bubbles here. Turn. Oh, they're off. Turn them on. And because of the kind of material that I have, um, they need light to react. Just if they don't have any light shining on them, nothing is going to happen. I have this bubble right here on this side. Maybe they move them to the light. I'm gonna maybe add another light just so I can see a little bit more of what's going on this side. So I'm going to go back to my floating camera. Duplicate that particular light. Bring it over a little bit like this. See how that's looking. Control U. Actually, I'm going to leave that as it is. Okay, so it looks nice. Now let's give it some final touches. What we are going to do is put all these folders right here. And that way I can move all the lights. wherever I want I'm actually digging this one so I'm probably gonna leave it as it is and I don't know maybe increase the brightness on this one no that's too much it's 4.5 go so this is uh, it depends on how deep you want your objects to be this will be like very very close to the surface and this will be a little bit deeper
Oops, can't see anything. Actually, help us fix this part. Remember, you can override whatever number is in here. Now it's too bright. Bring this down a little bit. Just so I, it's not all bloated. And you know what? I'm going to leave it as it is because I do like it. I like it a lot. I'm actually going to save it. Save it over there. And okay, let's adjust the focus on the camera. Let's try some lens flare. See what happens with the lens flare. Um, doesn't do that much. Activate that to field. I could focus on this guy, but I'm actually going to focus on my portal. So, uh, wow. Sorry, I'm just seeing the focus. Yeah. Well, control you. What I'm going to do is try to disperse some of the lights that are kind of like too close to each other. Okay, yeah, so now that they're separated a little bit, I can see that it's not just one single ray that's casting, but uh, several rays that's going around. So I'm, I'm going to leave it here. I'll probably do some tweaks and, and post that in the, um, on, on the Marmoset Toolback group. Uh, but I, I do like the way it looks. It, it gives that... Uh, it, it gives the portal sort of a kind of a metallic look without having a metal map 
and uh, I actually like this scene better than the one before so I'm gonna keep this and again I know this this has been a very very long tutorial from what I have seen but uh, this this kind of scene takes a little bit to to set up so I, I just want you guys to show to see the whole workflow that I use for this scene um, which again it wasn't that hard but just a little bit time consuming uh, hope you liked the video if you enjoyed the video please hit like subscribe for more content and uh, I'm gonna start doing uh, other software as well like substance painter ZBrush and all the kind of stuff that I use for 3d art so if you want something in particular about Marmoset if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer as fast as I can thanks for watching